All right, let's watch a video on horse semen. Okay. Depending on the stallion, up, horse bitch. semen is one of the most ex expensive liquids on the planet. Thinking about it, thinking about it again. Starting to draw. Yeah, okay, could wash that. Good boy. Okay. Grab that rain inside you. Got him. Toy there. So we collected about 80 mils, and this is going to be worth in excess of $100,000. No! No, you can't do that, bro. You can't do that, bro. That's not how it works. Okay, no, you don't get to let a horse come once and it's 100K. Okay, that's what you call... That's like some bullshit. It's like, oh, yeah, it's a supreme brick or something. It's worth this much now. Okay, it's not actually worth that much. Like, no one wants horse come that much, bro. Okay? I'm sorry, but nobody wants horse come that much. Yo, someone just sent me this image, by the way. This image... I can put it into the League of Legends scene, and then we'll only show when I'm in League of Legends. That way it won't have to come up like this. If, if someone just puts it into the OBS sources. Just put it into the OBS sources, and I will drag it on myself. Okay. Uh, it's not a bodily fluid, it's a horse fluid, chat. That means that a gallon of this horse's semen is worth $4.7 million. And that's no way near the most expensive. <laughs> Once it's collected, horse semen can be separated and sold in small tubes called straws. One of these straws is worth about $1,200. We're putting about 150 million to 200 million sperm cells in each individual straw. Big stars produced wow, about 60 count. or 70 of them here. Super fertile stallions like Big Star can ejaculate once a day. Theoretically, this means he could produce over $20 million worth of semen during an so eight- Wait, he just comes his whole life? That's just, that's the horse's life? Is he just like eats food and then comes and then eats food and then comes? ...month stud season. And if a stallion's semen is high quality, it can be frozen in straws for future use. So in this room is the heart of really stallion AI services. This room's built like actually a nuclear bunker in here. This is where all the semen is now kept. We've got hundreds and hundreds of thousands of straws in here. We've got over 1,200 different stallions. So in here, stored at Clearly, minus 100. people don't want it that much. Okay, if you've got that much extra. Okay, so you can't actually sell it for that much, can you, bro? Like, I mean, if like the, the supply de versus demand, you've got that much bonus semen. I mean, it's too much semen. 96 dog. degrees is hundreds of millions of dollars worth of semen ready to be used to inseminate mares. In the horse breeding world, genetics is king. Wealthy investors are willing to pay high prices for proven oh, winner's shit. semen, hoping that the resulting foal provides a large return on investment. Big Star is one of the most prolific show jumpers of all time. He's a double gold medal winning stallion, which there's very few of them out there. He's got the perfect genetics ready to go on show jumping. So you mix that with another genetic line on the female side and cross those two together. You can pay $1,200 for a single straw. You can have a foal and maybe three or four years later, you can sell that foal for sometimes $100,000. And in mean, Big Star's case, he's hit those bells. He had the highest price foal in, in the UK and that sold for an excess of $100,000. Even though most stud farms offer guarantees on producing a live foal, commercial and competitive success is still a gamble, even with strong genetics. In fact, the bloodline of all stallion horses is closer than you might think. What the fuck? According to an international team of scientists who studied the Y chromosomes of 52 horses no, from 21 breeds, practically all modern horses descended from just a few original stallions. Oh, From Jesus. carriage horses, hauling tourists. With that fucking inbred? That fucking empty goddamn inbreeders? Holy shit, bro. In the streets, right through to champion racehorses like Galileo, the world's most expensive sire. Even more surprisingly, 95% of all thoroughbred racehorses like him can be traced back to just a handful of ancestors <laughs> who were all linked to one single super stud. The Dali Arabian. The Giga Stud. Oh my god, it's the Giga Chat of the horses. Look at that guy. The ultra, just the, he cummed out so much cum that all of the horses are him. Born in 1700. Holy shit. 
that the value of thoroughbred semen is a little harder to quantify, since breeding must occur naturally for racehorses. The sport horse world, we're very lucky we can use artificial insemination to breed our mares with, as opposed to thoroughbred world, everything's got to be done naturally. They've got to literally cover the mare naturally. They're concerned with their gene pool, if they would allow AI into the thoroughbred world, it would mean the gene pool would shrink because one horse could then cover thousands. How do they fucking know, bro? How do they, what do they have, like, do they have to take pictures of verified? Like, oh yeah, look, this is the horse getting fucked. Yeah, this is like, how do you, how do you, they not know, like, they just snuck in a fucking tube at night and just fucking inseminated one of the females, you know? Like, I don't, I don't get it, like, you know? Of mares. And anyone wishing to naturally cover their mare with Galileo needs serious financial backing. Even though his price is listed as private, it's widely reported that his stud fee sits at around $650,000, comfortably the world's highest. But because thoroughbred horses must be bred naturally, and therefore a collection of sperm cannot be purchased, equating the cost of Galileo's semen requires some- So wait, so you buy, so you buy the horse to come in and just fuck your horse for $650,000, and then, then you get the horse baby. Extrapolation. So like... Assuming that during the course of a natural covering, Galileo ejaculates the average of 50 mil of semen and assuming that the semen is high enough quality to impregnate a mare successfully, and assuming that a breeder paid $650,000 for that service, then we can deduce that a gallon of Galileo's semen could be worth a whopping $49 million. Probably takes, like, it probably takes longer though, right? It probably, it probably isn't just a day, like once a day, right? You can't, you can't just do that like, you know what I'm saying? Like, can he really impregnate one horse a day? it the most expensive liquid on earth Shit. but is it worth it like anything there's a lot of work there's a lot of luck in it but you've got to make your luck and you've got to start off with the right genetics the chance is obviously you need to breed a lot so this is like eugenics except for horses that's what it is like, this is what the shit is this is like eugenics they're trying to breed the ultimate horse they're like fucking purifying the bloodline and fucking <laughs> They're all like, what the fuck? This is fucked up. To get that particular horse, but with the right genetics, you've got a much better chance. Galileo's position as the top sire is cemented by the achievements the top of his sire? offspring. What the fuck? He has sired no less than 84 winners, including Frankel, who himself has now been put to stud, <laughs> commanding the second highest stud fee in the UK of around $220,000. Wait, what the fuck, dude? Wait, what the fuck? Wouldn't that be like an off, like a downgraded version? I guess if he had like a freak mutant version, it was all the good traits, I guess. In turn, he has sired a further 10 winners. Like father, like son. Despite generally being safer oh, for both stallion and mare, artificial insemination is criticized for its ethics around <laughs> science service. and nature. But the analysis of thoroughbred racehorse genetics has added to the controversy surrounding horse breeding. Roughly 10% experience orthopedic problems and the majority suffer exercise-induced bleeding in the lungs. Peter- uh, Whoa, 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 warning, you viewed your questions. Investigators right. captured video from inside the breeding barns at Darley in Kentucky, one of the world's most expensive thoroughbred breeding facilities. Okay, so there's a horse fucking another horse. Where stallions were goaded to cover more than a hundred mares each in a breeding season. Some thoroughbreds were even sold for slaughter at a horse meat market. With so much money to be made in racing, show jumping, dressage, and more, the price of horse semen will remain stable. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one, eh? Interesting stuff. So, horse cum, guys. Horse cum. Um, EU eats horse meat. Well, they make it into cat food, don't they? They make it into cat food. I mean, it's kind of normal, right? The horses, like, break a leg or something, and then they're like, oh, that's not worth keeping them anymore, so then they just fucking just get them cut up. I wish my sperm would be that expensive. If you're, like, some... You could... People can sell that cum. Like, if you're, like, can get high, high IQ and shit, like, um... Got good, got good, good aesthetics and everything, you could sell your cum. Right? You know what I'm saying? Because he is God Game Game God.